Hank Jones is, uh, is extraordinary in, in every way. First of all, it, this completely blows my mind, but he is 86. He's ageless. And uh, not only is he personally ageless, but his music is ageless. He's, he's a professional musician for over 70 years. Everybody wanted to work with him. He, he, he played on, uh, he was Ella Fitzgerald's accompanist for five years. He played in third stream context. He played in all kinds of uh, modern and traditional context. He recorded ragtime. And in 1959, he became the first black musician to join the CBS studio orchestra. But then that ended in 1976, and then the most remarkable thing happened in his career, something that I don't think anybody anticipated. He remade himself as a major, major jazz figure, a jazz star, in a set to a degree that he never had been before. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, <laughs> thank you. Thank you very much. That, that last note that I played was called a button. Having a career in excess of 70 years, and what's your well, prognosis for the future? Well, I, I think, I think the, uh, the, the prognosis <laughs> of the, the progress of music depends largely on the people who are playing it. For instance, in the case of jazz, I think that the future of jazz depends uh, on the young people who take it up and who uh, follow it religiously, who do it uh, as, as, you know, seriously. I mean, it's not a weekend kind of thing. It's a 24-hour, 24-7 kind of uh, occupation. If you take it up seriously, that means that you, you devote full time to it. And if you do that, then you will further the art. And if you just do it on weekends or occasionally, you're not going to be very much help either to yourself or to the art itself. Mm -hmm. So, uh, the progress depends on how devoted the people who are involved in playing are to us here. And that's the future of the music, really. Now, confirmation, you have to play it as a tempo fine tune. That where the line becomes a little bit tricky in, on the release, you can play it cleanly. If it's played too fast and you can't play it cleanly, it sounds muddled, you see? The piano solo was fine. I would suggest, though, when, when you start figures, finish the figure. Don't, don't break it off at the end, you know, finish. But all that has a lot to do with tempo. But the feeling was wonderful. I enjoyed the bass solo, the drum solo, the tenor, the trumpet. All the solos were fine. But be very aware of the tempos for the tune that you're playing. The main thing is, you see, I've always felt that a group on stage can balance itself. The only thing that's necessary is for you to listen to the other parts. You must listen to the other instruments to balance yourself. You can do it in the control room, but why? You don't have to do that. You can do it on the stage by yourselves. If you can put up with me, I'll be delighted to join you. <laughs> now, we're going to take it at this, at this tempo, if you don't mind, about here. Can you hear me? Alex, two bars. One, two, one, two, three. 